Hi friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we have to discuss about multiply minus 3 and minus 5 using Booth's algorithm in computer organization and architecture. In the previous video, we are already solved 5 different example problems on Booth's algorithm. If anybody wants, please refer that videos in my YouTube channel, Devela Srinivasarao. Now, in this video, how to multiply minus 3 and minus 5 using Booth's algorithm in terms of 4 bits. Here, minus 3 is called as multiplicand that is stored in BR register. Next, minus 5 is called as multiply that can be stored in QR register. So, therefore, BR contains the value minus 3. Minus 3 is a negative number. To represent the negative number, we have to use 2's complement. To find out the 2's complement of minus 3, first of all, we have to write the binary form of 3 in terms of 4 bits. So, 0, 0, 1, 1. It is the binary form of 3. We have to find out the 1's complement. So, 1's complement of 0, 0, 1, 1 is 0 can be complemented as 1, 0 can be complemented as 1, 1 can be complemented as 0, 1 can be complemented as 0. Next, we have to add plus 1 at the LSB side. So, then we are getting 0 plus 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. So, this is the 2's complement of 2's complement of 3. 2's complement of 3 is nothing but minus 3 value. Okay. So, therefore, BR is equal to 1, 1, 0, 1. Next one. What is minus BR value? So, here minus BR is nothing but minus of minus 3. So, that is 3. 3 binary form, we already know that in terms of 4 bits, that is 0, 0, 1, 1. So, BR value is 1, 1, 0, 1. Minus BR value is 0, 0, 1, 1. Next. Now, we can go for the multiplier. So, multiplier contains the value minus 5 that is stored in QR register. So, now QR contains minus 5. Minus 5 is a negative number. So, to represent this negative number, we have to use 2's complement. To find out the 2's complement, first of all, we have to write the binary form of 5 in terms of 4 bits. So, the binary form of 5 is 0, 1, 0, 1. Next, we have to find out the 1's complement of 0, 1, 0, 1. So, that is 0 can be complemented as 1. 1 can be complemented as 0. 0 can be complemented as 1. 1 can be complemented as 0. Then, we have to add plus 1 at the LSB side. Then, we are getting 1, 0, 1, 1. So, 1, 0, 1, 1 is the 2's complement of 5. So, 2's complement of 5 is nothing but 1, 1, 0, 1. Okay. Next. So, finally, we can write. So, BR contains minus 3 value that is equal to 1, 1, 0, 1. Next, minus BR is nothing but minus of minus 3. So, that is a 3 is equal to 0, 0, 1, 1. Next one, QR contains the value 1011. So that is nothing but minus 5. 
Okay. Once we are getting BR value and the minus BR value and the QR value, now we have to perform the multiplication operation between minus 3 and 5 using the flowchart of Booth's algorithm. Now we can go for the flowchart. We have to perform the multiplication operation. For that one, we require multiplicand and multiplier. Multiplicand is stored in BR register. That is minus 3 is equal to 1101. And the minus BR is nothing but minus of minus 3 is equal to 0011. Here, minus BR is required here. Plus BR is required here. Next one, multiplier is stored in QR register. So, that is equal to minus 5 is equal to 1011. Next one, so initially the accumulator register is initialized with 0. So, accumulator register can be denoted by AC. It is initialized with 0 in terms of 4 bits. So, we are writing 4 zeros. Next one. QEN plus 1 register is initialized with 0. This is Q suffix N plus 1 register. It is initialized with 0. Next, sequence counter is initialized with N. N is nothing but number of bits in the multiplier. So, how many number of bits in the multiplier? 1, 0, 1, 1. So, that is 4 bits are there. So, sequence counter is initialized with the 4. 4 can be represented in the binary form as 1, 0, 0. Next, QR register contains the value 1, 0, 1, 1. So, this is the initial condition. Initial condition. Next, after this step, go to this one. We have to check QN and QN plus 1. QN is nothing but LSB bit in QR register. So, LSB bit in QR register can be called as QN. Okay. So, here QN value is a 1 and QN plus 1 value is a 0. We have to write here QN, QN plus 1 is equal to 1, 0. Whenever QN and QN plus 1 is equal to 1, 0, we have to perform AC tends to AC minus BR. So, this can be written as AC plus minus BR. Okay. We have to perform the addition operation between AC and minus BR value. So, here AC value contains 4 zeros. Next, what is minus BR value? Minus BR value is 0, 0, 1, 1. Now, we have to perform the addition operation. So, 0 plus 1, 1, 0 plus 1, 1, 0 plus 0, 0 plus 0. After performing this operation, then next we can go to perform this operation that is Arithmetic shift right of AC, QR, QN plus 1. So, we have to perform the arithmetic shift right operation on these three registers. Okay. First, we have to shift the information stored in Q suffix N plus 1 register. So, it contains the zero value that can be shifted towards right by one bit position. So, this value can be eliminated. Now, this place is vacant. In this place, the last bit in the QR register can be shifted towards right by one bit position. So, then this bit can go to this place. 
the remaining bits in the qr register can be shifted towards one bit shifted towards right by one bit position so then we are getting so 101 and this bit is vacant in this position the last bit in the accumulator register can be shifted towards right so by one bit so it can goes to this place next one the remaining bits in the accumulator register shifted towards right by one bit position so then we are getting so 0 0 1 now this bit is vacant in this position we have to write the msb bit here the msb bit value is 0 so we have to write the msb bit after that sequence counter is decremented by 1 so sequence counter value is 4 4 can be decremented by 1 then we are getting 0 1 1 so this is the first iteration okay now after that check the sc value so sequence counter value is 0 1 1 that is a 3 3 not equal to 0 control goes to the feedback loop again control goes to here again we are checking the qn and qn plus 1 value here qn value is a 1 and qn plus 1 value is a 1 so qn q sub x n plus 1 is equal to 1 1 whenever qn qn plus 1 is equal to 1 1 we have to perform only arithmetic shift right operation so a s h r of a c comma q r comma q sub x n plus 1 now the last bit in the q sub x n plus 1 register can be shifted towards right by one bit position so this bit can be eliminated now this place is vacant in this place the last bit in the qr register shifted towards right by one bit position then this bit goes to in this place next the remaining bits in the qr register shifted towards right by one position so then we are getting 110 this bit is vacant so in this place the last bit in the accumulator register shifted towards right by one bit position then this bit goes to this place okay next one the remaining bits in the ac register is shifted towards right by one bit position so then we are getting triple zero this bit is vacant in this place the last msb bit we have to write so after performing the arithmetic shift right operation on ac qr q suffix n plus one we are getting this result next after that sequence counter is decremented by one sequence counter value previously it is a three then decremented by one we are getting so two two means zero one zero next again check the sc value sc value is a two two not equal to zero again control goes to feedback loop and uh, check this qn and qn plus one value so here qn value is zero and qn plus one value is one so qn value is zero and qn plus one value is equal to 0 1 whenever qn and qn plus 1 value is equal to 0 1 we have to perform this step so ac is equal to ac plus br so here ac value is four zeros and br value is 1101 1, 1. so we have to add ac and br value we are getting 1101 1, 1. after that we have to perform arithmetic shift right operation ashr of ac comma qr comma q suffix n plus 1 <coughs> first the last uh, the bit stored in q suffix n plus 1 register can be shifted towards right by one bit position then this bit is eliminated this place is vacant 
in this place the last bit in the qr register that is the zero that can be shifted towards right by one bit position so this bit is placed here now the remaining bits in the qr register can be shifted towards right by one bit position so then we are getting one 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 now this bit is vacant in this place the last bit in the accumulator register one that can be shifted towards right by one bit position now this bit here in this place next one the remaining bits in the ac register shifted towards right by one bit position so then we are getting so one one zero this bit is vacant in this place we have to write the msb bit okay so after that decrement the sequence counter value sequence counter value previously it is a 2 it can be decremented by 1 so then we are getting 0 0 1 so what is the result we are getting for this step triple 1 0 1 1 1 and this is the 0 now check the sequence counter value 1 so 1 not equal to 0 condition true control goes to feedback loop and check the qn and qn plus 1 value so qn value is 1 and the qn plus 1 value is equal to 0 now qn and qn plus 1 is equal to 1 0 we have to perform ac dense to ac minus br so this can be written as ac plus minus br okay ac value is here what is minus br value minus br value is 0 0 1 1 we have to perform the addition operation between ac and minus br value 0 plus 1 1 1 plus 1 0 with carry 1 1 plus 1 0 with carry 1 1 plus 0 plus 1 0 with carry 1 so this is the carry bit so this carry bit is discarded. Whenever we are performing the two's complement operation, whenever we are performing addition operation using two's complement, we have to discard the carry bit. Okay. So next one, perform arithmetic shift right operation. A S H R A C comma Q R comma Q suffix n plus one. First. The information stored in Q suffix n plus 1 register can be shifted towards right by one bit position. So this bit can be eliminated and this place is vacant. In this place, the last bit in the QR register is 1 that can be shifted towards right by one bit position. So then this bit is placed here. Next one. The remaining bits in the QR register can be shifted towards right by one bit position. So then we are getting triple one and this bit is vacant. In this place, the last bit in the accumulator register can be shifted towards right by one bit position. Now this bit is located here. Next one, the remaining bits in the AC register can be shifted towards right by one bit position. Now this bit is vacant. In this place, we have to write the MSP bit. So after that, sequence counter is decremented by one. Previously, it is a 0, 0, 1. Now we are getting 0, 0, 0. Okay. So then what is the result? We are getting 0, 0, 0, 4 ones. And this is the one. So this is whenever the sequence counter value is a 0, okay we have to stop the procedure so therefore result is equal to information stored in ac and qr register in the ac register four zeros are there in the qr register four ones are there and the information stored in q suffix n plus one register cannot be considered as a result okay only so this is ac and this is a qr okay now the msb bit in the result is zero it indicates that result is positive so therefore 
result is equal to positive because the MSB bit value is 0. Next one, what is the result here? 4 zeros, 4 ones. Apply the positional weights. 2 power 0, 2 power 1, 2 power 2, 2 power 3. 2 power 0, 2 power 1, 2 power 2, 2 power 3, 2 power 4, 2 power 5, 2 power 6, 2 power 7. So now 1 into 2 power 0 plus 1 into 2 power 1 plus 1 into 2 power 2 plus 1 into 2 power 3 plus 0 into 2 power 4 plus 0 into 2 power 5 plus 0 into 2 power 6 plus 0 into 2 power 7. So then result is 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 8. So that is equal to 15. So what is the result? Plus 15. So therefore the result is equal to plus 15. So in this way we are solving the minus 3 and minus 5 multiplication using Boos algorithm. Minus 3 is multiplied with minus 5. Then we are getting result is equal to plus 15. Thank you. Thank you one and all for watching this video. If you like this video, please click on the like button and click on the bell icon to get the future updates in my YouTube channel. After subscribing the YouTube channel, so Divela Srinivasarao. If you have any doubts, please put your doubts in the comment section. I will clarify your doubts. Thank you. Thank you one and all for watching this video. Please see the previous videos also for better understanding of Booth's algorithm multiplication. Thank you.